Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video I'm gonna show how to install macOS Monterey on unsupported Macs. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. So, let's begin. Before proceeding make sure to back up your data. For this purpose, you will require Mac Admin Scripts for downloading macOS Monterey Installer Command for creating macOS bootable USB Open Core Patcher for patching the legacy hardware and one USB with a minimum 16 GB capacity. For this guide, I'm using MacBook Air mid-2013 model and, if I try to update, it will only show updates of the latest supported macOS version on this hardware. Now, open Mac Admin Scripts folder and, then open Terminal. In Terminal window, type sudo, and with one space drag, install install macOS to the terminal window and, press Enter key, enter the password when prompt and, wait for some time. File has been downloaded successfully and, macOS Monterey installer DMG is stored here. Quit terminal and, mount macOS Monterey, and, move the installer to the applications folder. Now plug your USB, and you can see the USB appeared. Now open Disk Utility and erase the USB with the following parameters. Now, open the terminal from the Spotlight search and copy the command from command text file and paste it to the terminal window. Change your USB name. If your USB has a different name and then press Enter key, enter your password when prompted. If the terminal is stuck, open macOS Monterey installer and wait for some time. After terminal loads, quit macOS Monterey installer, and then in terminal window, press Y key to confirm erasing of the USB, and if terminal prompts for access, click on OK, and wait until the USB is ready.
macOS Monterey USB installer is ready. Quit terminal and, now, open open core patcher and, if you are on the target hardware, and preparing the USB from it, you just need to install open core directly. But if your target hardware is any other Mac, you will need to look for the model identifier. After getting the identifier, click on the gear icon in open core patcher and, from Mac models, select your model identifier. My identifier is MacBook Air 62, so I will stick with it. And now, click on build and install open core and, from here select your USB and, click on continue. Enter the password on prompt. After the operation is completed, quit Open Core Legacy Patcher and, now, you will also need Open Core Patcher later, so, copy it and, paste it to your USB. And now restart your Mac and, if you want to install it on any other Mac, plug the USB into it, power it on and, then press the Option key on your keyboard. From here select the EFI boot with open core logo and press enter key and now select Mac OS Monterey installer and press enter to proceed. Select your preferred language and click on the right arrow button, wait until it loads. And now, select Disk Utility, and click on Continue. Here, click on View, and select Show All Devices, and now select your main drive, instead of any partition, and then click on Erase button, and erase the drive with the following parameters. Click on Done and close Disk Utility. Now select Install Mac OS Monterey, and then click on Continue and now proceed with the installer. Here select the drive created, and click on Continue. Keep in mind that, during this installation process, your Mac will restart several times, so don't worry about that.
macOS Monterey setup screen appeared. Set up your Mac accordingly. macOS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press Command F5 now to turn it on and set up your Mac. If you would like to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the Escape key. And now, we need to prepare the Mac to be able to boot without USB. For that open open core legacy patcher and click on patch system volume, make sure that you don't skip it. Currently, it's not needed for my MacBook Air, but your Mac may require it. After the process gets completed, click on back to menu and then click on build and install open core. And from here, select your internal drive and then click on continue. And after the process gets completed, quit open core patcher and also eject the USB. And before you restart your Mac, let me tell you that if you ever reset your Mac, you will not be able to boot back. So until you don't reset your Mac, you are good to go. Every unsupported Mac needs to be blessed. Guide for it will be out soon. And now, I will show you what's working, and what's not. And everything works perfectly, as expected and, now let me show you about this smack.
So, that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.